All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, SH Figure Arts uh, figure. And uh, it's from Age of Ultron. It is Mark 43. And there's the box. And Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron by Bandai Tamashi Nation. And the side of the box, back of the box, shows a couple of uh, pictures of the figure. And a couple of poses. And let's take a look at the figure and all the accessories. All right, and here we have the figure outside of packaging and all the accessories. Um, so let's go over the accessories real quick. We have uh, it comes with uh, two fists, two flight hands, or well, salute hands. And then we have the repulse blast hands. And then we have relax hands. And then we have some special effects. Uh, we have these uh, boosters, uh, uh, these fire for the um, for the feet and then uh, these are for the hands and these are also for the hands so let's take a look at the figure itself okay so if you already own the mark 42 you'll notice this is pretty much exactly the same as the mark 42 uh, the only difference i believe is the hips uh this the mark 43 is a little wider than the mark 42 for some reason and uh, there he is. And here's a side view of him. And there's the back view. And one thing I do really like about the Mark 43 here, uh, also for the Mark 42, is the fact that the shoulders can be pulled out a little bit uh, to give it more articulation, uh, more range of motion. And here you can see the shoulders have been pulled out a little bit, uh, especially right, right here. There's a cylinder, basically you just push the whole arm in. Same thing for this side, push the whole thing in. And there's the, the gap right there. Alright, as far as articulation, uh, head is on the ball joint. As you can see, you can look up really high. And then the base of the neck, there's another ball joint. And then uh, shoulders. Uh, if you look in here, there's a ball joint inside right there. And then there's a ball hinge shoulders. And a swivel bicep. And then double jointed elbows. And then a ball jointed wrist. And this plate could actually move. Uh, there's a hinge joint right here. So when you do the repulsive blast, it wouldn't block his hand. And then the chest, there's a ball joint. And then the waist, there's a ball joint. And then the hips. Here you can see the hips, you could totally lower his leg uh, by that joint right there. And then uh, right there you can see the ball jointed hips. And then here on the thigh area there's also another ball joint right there. And then uh, down here we have double jointed knees, hinge ankles, and then uh, there's a pivot point right there so you could, um, you could stand flat. And then there's also a hinge around the toes area. And here you can see he can definitely pull off the landing pose. Quite nice because of those hips. Uh, the way the, the fact that you could lower those legs a little bit, that's kind of neat. And I uh, love this figure. Um, but uh, this figure is really, really stiff, uh, especially the joints. Um, they are really, really tight. Uh, sometimes I'm afraid to move them because uh, I'm afraid that if I force it too much, it's going to snap on me. But uh, better have uh, stiff joints than uh, loose joints, right? So, yeah. Oh, and uh, the feet are metal. Well, these are die cast feet. Just this portion right here on uh, the bottom. Uh, that's, that's about it. And uh, the only... Um, the only complaint I have about this figure is the fact that it doesn't come with a base. It would have been nice if it came with a base. Uh, anything would have been good because uh, uh, you can see he could do a lot of poses, uh, flight poses, uh, weird, weird stuff like this or anything. But uh, with the lack of a base, uh, kind of defeats the purpose of you posing him. Yeah. All right, and here I have Mark 42 and Mark 43 together. As you can see, they're the exact same figure. Um, and uh, again, 
The only difference is uh, the hips is a little wider for the Mark 43 than on the 42, and uh, the paint job. Mm. They're sitting, chilling together, brothers. All right, and here's another comparison. We have a Stormtrooper from the Black Series, and then uh, the the Dark Knight from the Mesco. Um, 112 scale and uh, the height of this uh, Iron Man is 6.25 inches in height that's how high he is and uh, here we go and I highly recommend this thing um, got this off uh, AmiYami it's a, Jap uh, a Japan site and uh, most likely it'll hit the US pretty soon maybe in a month or so and uh, this thing costs about somewhere around 70-ish, I think somewhere around there. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.